are listening to Mix Delirium with Mons DJ and Julian Lennon in conversation with Mark Thompson Ashworth. Remember, Mark, when the book Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance spoke directly to the confusions and agonies of my existence? It actually did change the way I think and feel about life. But still, the cycle I have been working on is a cycle called Myself.
Indeed, I recall the book. The study of the art of motorcycle maintenance is really a study of the art of rationality itself. Working on a motorcycle, working well, caring, to become part of a process, to achieve an inner peace of mind. Yes, the motorcycle is primarily a mental phenomenon. What more can one say? It's a miracle. It sparkles like an electric dream. Freshness, originality, dreams that seduce you into loving motorcycles, as tender in their pistons as the petals in the Buddha's dawn lotus. <laughs> well, let's be honest. The motorcycle that inspired these writings years ago may be more important now than ever before. become a real secondary road motorcycle buff. I've learned how to spot the good ones on the map 
For example, if the line wiggles, that's good. That means hills. If it appears to be the main route from one town to a city, that's bad. The best ones always connect nowhere with nowhere. The main skill is to keep from getting lost.
Yes, I navigate mostly by dead reckoning and deduction from what clues I find. I keep a compass in one pocket for overcast days when the sun doesn't show directions. With a lack of pressure to get somewhere, it works out just fine. silence. Unless you're fond of hollering, you don't make great conversation on a running cycle. Instead, I spend my time being aware of things and meditating on them. On sights and sounds, on the mood of the weather and things remembered, on the machine and the countryside I am in. Thinking about things at length, without being hurried and without feeling I am losing time.
You know, what I would like to do is use the time to talk about some things that have come to my mind. We're in such a hurry most of the time, we never get much chance to talk. The result is a kind of endless day-to-day shallowness, a monotony that leaves us wondering years later where all the time went, and sorry that it's all gone. simply dig deeper into old ideas that have become silted in with the debris of thoughts, grown stale and platitudes too often repeated. People always ask me, what's new? Thinking it's an interesting and broadening eternal question, but it results only in an endless parade of trivia and fashion. The silt of tomorrow. There is no sense just going around and around and around. 
looking for an answer that is not there. I want to talk about the underlying form of the world. I want to divide human understanding into two kinds, classical understanding and romantic understanding. The terms classic and romantic, as Phaedrus used them. A classical understanding sees the world primarily as underlying form itself. A romantic understanding sees it primarily in terms of immediate appearance. If you were to show an engine or a mechanical drawing or electronic schematic to a romantic, it is unlikely he would see much interest in it. To a romantic, this classic mode often appears dull, awkward and ugly, like mechanical maintenance itself. Everything is in terms of pieces and parts and components and relationships. 
Nothing is figured out until it's run through the computer a dozen times. Everything's got to be measured and proved. Oppressive, heavy, endlessly grey. The death force. Yes, but if you were to show the same blueprint or schematic to a classical person, he might look at it and then become fascinated by it because he sees that within the lines and shapes and symbols 
is a tremendous richness of understanding. He deems the romantic view merely as frivolous, irrational, erratic, and untrustworthy, interested primarily in pleasure-seeking, shallow, of no substance. Oh, Mark, let's hold it right there. The night is short. By now, these battle lines sound a little familiar. Tomorrow we ride together. We take turns in being romantic and classical. Philosophical battle lines, we draw them on the road. Yes, don't forget to take white chalk. Good to talk to you. No wonder it was a cold book at the time. Good night. See you tomorrow on the road. So long. My baby calls me tomorrow.
have been listening to Mix Delirium with Mons DJ and Julian Lennon in conversation with Mark Thompson Ashworth. Thank you for listening.